Hi everyone, Sarah here from the Lavinia Stamps Design Team and I wanted to share with you today this Bright Moon card using the Dream Witch collection which is just released. Those flitter mice, I just think they're so lovely hanging from that moon and any excuse to use the stars. Uh, I just love them. So we're going to be using the sticker stencil set five that's got the moon in. And I've got a piece of multifarious six by six. Uh, we need the stencil side of this first, which is the, the piece with the, the hole in. Right, there we go. It's a tricky one, this I found to get in the middle. I did it on the, the six by six and then I trimmed it slightly to make it look a bit more central. I think we'll be okay there. There we go. And I'm going to be using Elements Sahara. Get going. So I'll practice a bit on my... I always like to do it on the side just to get kind of feel of it. Um, and then add the colour inside. I'm going to be using a wet brush in a bit to get the effects on here let me show you can you see these um like moon crater effects really with a paintbrush uh, so if you if you struggle with adding color in an even way with your stencil brush this is quite a good technique to to try because elements it reacts with water so we're using that property to give us an effect on this uh, moon and I'm using one of these tiny, tiny little brushes from Lavinia Stamps. This is the two size. Um, last time I was down there, Tracy was quite shocked that I didn't have one, which I found quite amusing and I immediately rectified that, purchased one myself. So I wet my brush and I'm just going to kind of wiggle it. Clearly a technical term that. Just wiggle it around and that water will um, that water will move the ink about and make it sit in various kind of crater like effects. And it, it doesn't hold a lot of water this brush because it's so tiny. So it does require a bit of dipping. There we go, whether you can see. Very therapeutic. I like a therapeutic card making session. Very good for you. And of course, big movements will make bigger areas. And little movements will make smaller, smaller marks. There we go. So that's our moon. That's a bit addictive, really. Could keep going forever, probably. So that's our lovely bright moon. It's going to get brighter later with, um, with a bit of gold around the edge, but for now, we're going to leave it like that. So there's the moon. And then while that just dries, which will be pretty quick, um, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be doing next. So I'm going to add my flitter mice, my um, tree of spirits small. I do like this size of tree. I think it's really lovely. Um, some of the orchard grass and these stars. The stars are in one of the newest um, Versafine Colours Arctic. And I liked the way the um, circle of stars kind of almost fitted in there. So in fact, let's put them on now. There we go. Find my Arctic, which I've just popped over there. I tried it a few ways um, with the open section of this because there's, there's a there's an open area there i preferred it open 
kind of echoing the moon shape, but you can you can have a little play yourself and see what you prefer. So let's pop that there. So that's the stars. And we'll get my nocturne pad and add a couple of couple of vitamins to the top of that moon. Just check that that's coming out. A bit more ink on. I'm just gonna hang a couple of them from the tip of that crescent. I mean, you could, there's three sizes of these, so you could, if you wanted to, have um, a smaller one and a bigger one. It's up to you. Have a play. My two are just hanging there. And then we'll get the Now, one of them is just here, sitting straight. Yeah, just sitting here. It's going to have that grass around its base. And then the other one, um, well, a couple more behind as if they're sitting, they're growing just behind that edge of the moon. So there we go, there's one. And you can use either either a bit of paper or the stencil. I used the stencil the first time. I'm just going to use a bit of paper this time. Oh, that's my ink pad. And uh, pop a couple of them behind. So I'm lowering it a little so it's not... The base isn't um, coming from the moon, which will help make them look like they're sitting a little behind. There we go. Let's put another one a bit lower. Right there. There we go. And there's our trees. The orchard grass, you can just catch, catch with your, your finger and get a little bit of income. And then you've just got that edge as if it's growing around the bottom of that tree. Pop another bit there. Maybe a little one here. There we go. So there is most of our stamping. We're going to do a bit more, a bit of inking, and then stamp some more stars. So this is where we use the moon mask. This is going to mask off that. Um, colouring we've drawn and the stamping we've drawn. There we go. Right, so we're going to um, add this night sky, as it were, around the edge of the moon mask. I'm using Midnight Blue. And let's get a bit of that going. So I'm just going to start at the stencil and kind of go round and again this is another one if you um if you find this a bit tricky because we want it to look a bit cloud like and clouds aren't even so um I'm deliberately kind of doing a circular movement to make it look like it's um an element of the night the night sky at its darkest And the other thing I'm going to add um, is some um, some of the Wink of Stella ink. 
and so the star starry effects and adding water to the to the ink also kind of draws your eye from any lumpy bits as it were of the inking so I'm going around the going around the moon mask and then I'm gonna kind of step back as it were and just make sure I've got a fairly circular shape need a bit more up there I think there we go I'm just going to make it a little bit dark around this edge dark side of the moon <laughs> Yeah. Okay. just going to add the words um it's 3 a.m and the moon is bright from the witching hour verse and to do that i'm going to get my black verse fine and just tap it at the top And I've got a baby wipe here. And I just make sure that I've not caught any of those top letters. Just get it clean from clearly using it the other day. There we go. So those are cleaned off, so I should just have those those words. Have that popping out from there. There we go. Again, it's a lovely fine font. Tracy does some very delicate fonts that are really lovely to use. There we go. Um, we also need some stars now. Do we get this one out? Oh, there it is. One of the stars minis. I'll pop it on the list. Um, of which one it is because I forgot I'd used this one. So, Arctic ink again. I mean, any of them would work, wouldn't they? And um, we'll get a collection of stars going around here. And stamping over the um, mask means that you get a bit of variation. It doesn't look like a, a pattern, a repeated pattern going around. And turning, I mean, I know I'm turning the cards off, turning the stamp slightly as well helps, helps with that. You can put as many stars or as few stars on as you would like. And I've got some of them coming off into the whiter patches. And some of them staying quite close to that mask. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. In fact, I'm just going to have a bit of, bit of some there. And some there. There we go. And then all we need to do is add some special shimmer from uh, this one's silver but you can use whichever one you like it's a brush it's a bit of a spatter and these are effectively the kind of bright stars aren't they so it's quite nice to have some Bigger splashes. There we go. Let's take that mask off. Oh. There we go. And then, as a final touch, I'm just going to add some glitter here. So that's using. 
um, this Cure Turkey metallic pen, which has got two ends. Um, I think this one's a thicker one, yeah. It's like a really thick chisel tip. And what this does as well is, um, by adding the, the gold, if you've got any, I don't know whether you can actually see, it's a very, very fine line of difference where the mask was. It, it covers it up, but it's up to you whether that's bothering you or not. Now, I did this um, by hand because I quite liked the idea um, of it not being perfect. Do you know, I'm wondering now whether this was actually the pen I used. Maybe I used my gold wink of Stella. Not that it really matters. Just adding a bit of shimmer. There we go. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my gold wink of Stella out for the other bit and you can see both now there's only bits of this peeking out through those branches yeah it was the it was the gold wink of Stella picked up the wrong one there we go I'll show you the difference in a sec and then you can Make your decision about what you would like to use. I think this is just, um, can you see? I think, yeah, that's much more shimmery. That's okay, we can go over that gold metallic pen with a bit more shimmer. And I love the contrast of that Sahara elements against the midnight blue. Now if you didn't want to uh, do this freehand you could put your could put your stencil back on and go around there. And there we go. There's our bright moon. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have a go yourself please let me know. I'd love to see them. Bye.